a frame narrative. Okay, maybe I totally blanked, but I still don't quite understand what a frame narrative is. Oh, come on, it's like you weren't even paying attention. Okay, I'm gonna show this one more time from the beginning. Okay, are you paying attention? We're gonna start now. Welcome to Writing Concepts Explained, where I break down common terms writers use to talk about their work. Frame narratives refer to a structure in which the primary story of a book or a film is contained within the frame of another story. In the famed Arabic folktale, 1001 Nights, we hear all of these different stories, but they're told through the point of view of the king's bride-to-be named Shehrazad. And she's telling these stories to avoid the fate of the king's other wives who he executed because he was bored of them. And she doesn't want the king to get bored. So each night she tells a story and ends on a cliffhanger. So he must wait another day to execute her so that he can hear the end of the story. This is a great example about how the act of storytelling can be just as important in a narrative as the primary story itself. There are plenty of contemporary examples, including the novel Interview with a Vampire, the sitcom How I Met Your Mother, and the horror podcast The Magnus Archives. But I want to return to a classic example, The Princess Bride. This is a film about a princess and her long lost lover turned pirate, and it includes swashbuckling buckling, sword fighting, torture, rats of unusual size, the wrestler, Andre the Giant, and, and loads of other kind of inconceivable plot threads. But that story is within another story of a grandfather who is reading to a young boy who is in bed because he's sick for the day. And, and while this grandfather is telling the story, the boy is getting totally bored of all of the romantic subplots. He says like, I wanna get back to the action. A story like The Princess Bride is about both the teller and the audience. A frame narrative encourages the reader to pay attention to who is telling the story, how and why. In the comments, I want you to share your favorite examples of 